Prince William was photographed enjoying a series of sweet moments today watching his eldest child, Prince George, play Aston Villa against Nottingham Forest. The father and son, both avid Aston Villa fans, had much to celebrate as their team emerged victorious by scoring two goals in the second half. Villa eventually secured win 2-0, while throughout tense match George's expressions came alive as he enjoyed highs and lows of game. It proved to be a chip from old block as Prince was seen doing same moves as his father during match at Villa Park. At one point, the 40-year-old Prince of Wales appeared to be shouting with his hands over his ears. Of course, his son was doing the same. Happy father and son must have been delighted when the match ended with their team's 2-0 victory. Mini-me the princes, who are both Aston Villa fans, were seen using the same expressions at some points in the match. Like father, like son at another point that seemed like a tense game, the nobles were screaming with their hands to their ears. Father and son Prince William attended Aston Villa's Nottingham Forest match today, with his son Prince George, during another tense moment. The Crown Prince clasped his hands in front of his mouth as he stared intently ahead. Once again, George makes a similar gesture, his hands near his mouth, looking straight ahead concentrated. In another variation that makes George even more like his father's mini self, the couple wore similar outfits for the look both wearing pale blue shirts topped with navy sweaters. The score was zero in the first half, indicating an uneventful start. However, animated expressions shared by the two princes proved that game was not boring so far. George was overjoyed when Villa scored three minutes into the second half and jumped out of his seat to high-five those around him, including Villa's general manager Christian Perslow. The couple was joined by William's old friend, Edward Van Cutsum, 49, who was the butler at Charles and Diana's wedding and whose family once rented Anma Hall, their former home on Cambridge's Sandringham estate. England coach Gareth Southgate was also nearby and saw Villa win 2-0. The Prince of Wales with George the Prince of Wales and Aston Villa CEO Christian Perslow in the stands during a Premier League game in Villa Park. Birmingham High Five, in every way Prince George got in on the action watching football today, George grinned as things were getting better for his team. Prince's dad, is a die-hard Aston Villa fan Prince George, was one of alts who listened intently as Aston Villa's president and father chatted at the match. Speech tactics Prince William seemed to be explaining something to his curious son during the game. The tension of the match was evident on both George's and William's faces. Father of three, president of the Football Association, Prince William has supported Villa since he was 11 years old, regularly attending matches and other events. He took over the role from his uncle, Duke of York, in 2006. He was football club's guest of honour when the ribbon was cut at new £6 million facility two years ago. Among the numerous games in which he participated was the club's 2019 playoff final, where they were victorious over Derby County at Wembley. Explaining why he is an Aston Villa fan in an interview with the in 2015, Prince William said, Long ago, I was very interested football at school. I was looking for clubs. All my friends at school were either Man United fans or Chelsea fans, and I didn't want to follow the Mill teams. Understanding it all the young prince has been pictured at a number of sporting events before. Dramatic at another point, during the fixtures, William and George were seen looking horrified as they watched the action. Prince George points the field as his father bends down to hear what his younger son has say stressful the royals showed how nervous being a football fan can be, looking anxious, as they watch the action, then frustrated at times. Prince was on the edge of his seat during the Aston Villa vs Nottingham Forest match. As William listened intently to George, father and son shared a tender moment. Fortunately, other times the action seemed less tense, so Prince George and Prince William were able to catch their breath. Celebrations Aston Villa fans celebrate their team's goal Prince George came alive as he watched the drama unfold on the field. The Prince of Wales, 
Prince George, and Aston Villa CEO Christian Perslow celebrate in the stands after Aston Villa's Bertrand Traoré scores. Prince George watched intently from the stands along with other Aston Villa fans. The Prince was in a lodge area in Villa Park with other VIP guests. The day Prince William was dating his son, he was probably seen grinning at his team's success. The father-son duo jumped out of their seats and couldn't take their eyes off the field. Prince William laughed with Christian Perslow, CEO of Aston Villa. Prince George looks across the football field with hands clasped as his father seems to be trying to suppress laughter. I wanted to have a team at the middle table that could give me more emotional roller coaster moments. Aston Villa has always had a great history. I have friends who support Aston Villa, and one of the first FA Cup games I went to was Bolton vs Aston Villa in 2000. Unfortunately Villa lost to Chelsea. It was great. I sat with all the fans in my red beret, and sat with all the Brummy fans and had a great time. It the atmosphere, it was camaraderie, and I felt like it's something I could really connect with. Prince George laser focused the match, as the match unfolded at Villa Park today Prince George clap, after first goal Prince William, father of three, is a longtime Aston Villa fan, and regularly attends matches, and other event spirits appeared much higher after Aston Villa scored again, against Nottingham and the royal family grinned widely. The royal family appeared to have jumped to their feet at one point, cheering and smiling during the nail-biting match. The royal family looked a little calmer before kickoff as they got caught in the stands at Villa Park, taking their seats delighted fans sat next to Princess George and William greeted them enthusiastically Prince William looked much more relaxed before the game started, smiling, clapping and chatting. Aston Villa President Nassef saw Iris, Prince William of Wales and Prince George of Wales look before Premier League match as the royals celebrate their birthdays with sports-themed parties at Kensington Palace. George's love of football is no secret. Celebrations Royals jump with joy during Villa's win against Nottingham Forest. The crowd at Villa Park celebrated the success of the home team today. Prince William seems to say goodbye to other fans after Aston Villa wins match the entire Welsh family is now Villa fans. And this is not the first time George has joined William in a match. In October 2019, when George was six years old, William was pictured enthusiastically celebrating his 5-1 Villa win with his mother Kate and sister Charlotte. George's love of football is no secret, with the royal family celebrating their birthdays with sports-themed parties at Kensington Palace and William's eldest son saying he hopes Villa will one day become top goal scorer. The Prince's love for the beautiful game was evident when he made his way to the June 2021 Euro final at Wembley, where England faced Italy. After joining his family for the national anthem, George spread his arms and shouted with pure joy as Luke Shaw empowered England to take an early lead over Italy in the opening minutes. William and Kate, followed by the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, attended England's Six Nations match against Wales last year, while their eldest son, Prince George, joined them. The match at Twickenham Stadium was Kate's first match since becoming the patron of Rugby Football Union. The young prince celebrated the trials with his family as he watched the match from Twickenham stands. But the young royals had to be consoled when their team lost to Azuri on penalties, after being outdone by Roberto Mancini's men throughout the second half. He also showed his passion for the sport while attending the Six Nations game with his family last year. George showed his cheeky side by sticking out his tongue while watching the England v Wales game. The match at Twickenham Stadium was Kate's first since becoming a rugby football union patron. Prince William and Kate who have been patrons of the Welsh Rugby Union since 2016, are known for their rivalries during sporting events. The Princess of Wales grew up watching rugby with her family and has since played with her husband in everything from dragon boat to wind chariot racing. Their eldest son has embraced their fiery sporting spirit, as evidenced by his last appearance on the field with his father.